Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. When this one was growing up, he had many arguments and fights with his younger brother, most of them born out of jealousy on his part. And at times the fights were verbal, but other times the fights got very physical. And his parents had a rule, since they couldn't seem to stop the brothers from bickering and fighting all the time. They had a rule that if you're gonna hit each other, you're not allowed to have anything in your hand when you do it. And at the time, this one thought that was a strange rule. But later, he understood that there's something very valuable. If you are going to attack someone, if you are going to hit them physically, it's, it's valuable to see how much it hurts you to hit them with some immediate feedback. It's enough to make you not want to do it anymore because it's too painful to hit somebody with your hand. When gunpowder was invented, it then became possible to hit someone with no physical effect on you. Only the person on the business end of the rifle was affected, making it much easier to inflict harm, apparently, on others, but not on yourself. Similarly, in social media now, one of the most painful things is that it's possible, rather than confronting a person personally and seeing the effects that your words have on that person such that you might want to stop, it's possible to attack someone anonymously and to feel self-righteous by pointing out the other person's flaws, but doing so anonymously and doing so to mass audiences. All of this is fodder for the ego. How ideal. Maybe I can do unto others and not have any effects on me other than myself at Grand This is folly. I think it's important to understand and to have an experience that the hurt you inflict hurts you. And anything that you do to attack another person in some vain attempt to expiate your own guilt makes you feel more separate from that person. And so while your ego may love it, your heart does not. Separation, again, arouses the guilt from time immemorial. And it also motivates you to get rid of the guilt, usually by attacking someone, which continues the cycle. The only answer is forgiveness. The only answer is to see shared interests, see the humanity in someone else, see the love in another person, and see how painful it is for you to cause pain in another. There is no other.
there is only you. And you harm yourself when you harm others. Anything that creates the illusion and reinforces the illusion of separation harms you and sends you deeper into the illusion. This is why forgiveness is so important because you're actually forgiving yourself. You find you can breathe so much easier when you take your clenched hands off of someone else's neck. Let yourself see who this is that you're speaking about. Let yourself be kind because it is your nature and because it feels so much better and because you are the beneficiary of it as well as whoever you're speaking to. Forgiveness is its own reward. And the ripples of it extend and extend and extend. This is why I said the holy on earth is a place where an ancient hatred has been turned to love. This is what makes for sacred ground. Any place where love replaces fear is home. Let yourself believe of loving whomever you've judged. And notice how your breathing becomes so much easier. You live in a wider space. I love you very much and I'll speak with you again soon.